bar. It is the 4th of July today. That's right, I'm actually getting one on a schedule for once. That's exciting. I figured what better way to celebrate the 4th of July than with America's liquor, bourbon. It's the classic Kentucky distilled, very regulated, and in every way, American spirit. We are today going to do two different bourbon cocktails. One is going to be the Revolver, and the other is going to be the Mint Julep. Uh, Mint Julep, of course, known from the Kentucky Derby, and the Revolver was made in, I think, California by a bartender over there, uh, but it really brings out all the great characteristics of a bourbon. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started, and we're going to start with the Revolver. We're going to go ahead and put in two ounces of our bourbon into our mixing vessel. that has some cubes of ice already ready to go in it. So two ounces of our bourbon, and as usual, I'm using Makers, because that is my go-to. I go through a lot. I uh, actually collect the wax from the bottles and then kind of melt it down into these little chunks. I have a lot of chunks. It's a good go-to bourbon. It's sweet. It's got a lot of um, nuanced characteristics, but it's not overly complex or so it works well in cocktails. And it is definitely sweet. So bourbon cocktails generally could call for a sweet uh, base liquor. So I'm going to do a half an ounce of a coffee liqueur, so a Kahlua. And again, another sweet thing, so we want, to, we want to make sure that it gets nice and cold so that the sweetness doesn't overpower other things. And we're finally going to top this off with our good um, orange bitters. So a good few shakes of these. I've actually found a lot of uses for these recently, and I usually find that I put in a good 10-ish shakes. Uh, I, I find I wanted a lot of it to get that orange flavor, but it really does give some nice, solid flavor. So definitely been a big fan of those, in addition to my usual, which is the old-fashioned, uh, as well as Angostura bitters. So where's my lid? Here's my lid. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and give this a shake, decant this into our coupe. Nice, simple cocktail, we'll see how it is. All right. And in case you're ever curious why I occasionally glance below the camera uh, while shaking, I've got a display screen down there and it has the time counter so I can see when I've shaken for about 30 seconds. That's using my good base indicator. So we're gonna go ahead and pour this, a little coffee and bourbon cocktail that just looks dandy. All right, so. <laughs> and there we have a revolver cocktail. Good, solid, coffee notes, make it a little bit darker, a little bit more complexity. A little bit sweet, uh, because it does have both a sweet bourbon as well as a sweet Kahlua. Um, I might almost do this with a rye. I want to do a bourbon focus because this is, you know, America's birthday fo fo um, focus. So, a uh, little bit sweet, but not bad. Uh, doing this with a rye, get a little bit spicier, a little bit less, uh, a little bit drier, quite tasty. All right, and because this is double, we're pushing forward. We got the revolver down. Next up, mint julep. So for this one, also gonna be a very straightforward cocktail. And for this, we are going to need a glass and some mint leaves. Got about 10, oop, nine-ish mint leaves. So we're gonna just go ahead and put those in our glass and put in just a bit of our simple syrup. Now we're gonna do, this is to taste. I usually try to like it a little bit less sweet. So I'm gonna do a little bit less simple syrup than most people would, uh, but just enough to give it that nice flavor and that's going to help sweeten up and combine nicely with the flavor of the mint we're going to get out of the leaves. Now, I'm going to very carefully just kind of stir these. I'm not crushing them. I'm not putting really any downward force. I'm really just kind of uh, having them rub against the bottom and rub against each other to release the oils that are on the surface of that mint leaf to try to get that flavor so we get the nice um, well, mint flavor going into our drink. Um, as an added bonus, this glass has a little bit of a ridged bottom, so it's got like little wavy uh, waves in the bottom, uh, that as the mint goes over it, that's gonna help get that mint, uh, mint oil, the mint oils out of the leaf. So that should be about perfect right there. And now I'm gonna go grab some more ice to put in this and we'll put in the bourbon on top of that. All right, and we're back. We have two different, two ice cubes on top of that that we'll use to get started. And then I got my little ice crusher bag here that I filled with ice cubes and then beat the crap out of it with a little stick. So now I got crushed ice works. So <laughs> we're going to go ahead and put two ounces of our bourbon into this. And I've got the two ice cubes on there just so it starts getting cold and chilled down as we pour it in. Um, I've made a few of these over the past few days because I'll tell you, my mint plant is going wild. It's been super hot and that mint plant is just going nuts, which is great because mint is fantastic in cocktails. Basil plant, also going nuts, also excellent. 
So very carefully pouring these over the ice cubes because I want to get it nice and chilled. And I'll just put that all in. Uh, so now that we got the bourbon in, you'll notice we haven't shaken it, so we need to get it cold. So what I'm going to do is take this crushed ice, and the crushed ice is going to melt more quickly, but it's also going to get that drink colder faster. So I'm going to put basically all the way, almost to the top, put in that crushed ice. Now we're going to give it a stir, get it chilled down some more, and then go right up to the very top with some more crushed ice because uh, we really want this to get nice and cold and also diluted is good because traditionally this is had at the Kentucky Derby where you are going to be outside all day uh, in the hot sun. So having some water diluted with your cocktails is always going to be a good thing. So I think we got some nice chill going on in there and I'll just top that off with a little bit more of our crushed ice. After I drop it, thankfully, laid it face up. Uh, and then that will be the end of our mint julep. Oh, look at that. Perfect amount of crushed ice. And of course, because we want to be fancy, topping it with a mint sprig. Mm. Minty, refreshing, not overly sweet, which is perfect. The perfect thing for a hot day while watching horses run in a circle or something. I don't know. Here we have two delightful bourbon cocktails. Happy birthday, America. We got the Revolver and the Mint Julep. Perfect for a day in the hot sun. Hopefully everyone is being safe, not setting off fireworks in their faces. And until we drink again, cheers. Mm. Mm. I could use that. <laughs>